Hello everybody, welcome back to today's video. Today we are checking out UHC Games, Fate UHC Games. This was requested, this video was requested by one of the users in our Discord who wanted to see what does this plugin actually did? What do you do with it? How do you set it up? Blah, 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 blah. Well, I'm here to tell you, let's go ahead and set it up for you. So, Fate UHC Games is kind of like an add-on for Fate UHC and me uh, Fate Meetup. It lets you put it in like a lobby server and it can show you how many people are online, what, who's playing what, who leaderboards in the lobby, you can click to join different servers and everything. So pretty much, let's get straight into it. Once you put it in your uh, plugins folder and restart your server, this is meant to be on like a hub plugin or a, a server by itself, which is like a hub server. So you could put this on um, a server with Fate Hub and stuff, and it would uh, set it up. But I'd recommend that you put this on a server by itself, so the scoreboards don't interact and everything. And it's like it's like a waiting lobby. So if you do Slack server UXC, you put this on a server. And it would um, wait there for the UXC game, and you would click what you want to join for UXC. So UXC server, UXC meetup servers, quick join leaderboards. So let's take a look at what happens when you start it up. So once you start it up, it's going to say UXC license is successfully passed. Don't leak it. It will say leaderboards have been loaded. If you, there's an error, that means you didn't set up your data.yml file. So why don't we check it out? Your data.yml file is going to be the same data.yml file you use in Fate UXC and the same Mongo details you use in Fate UXC and Fate Meetup. The plugin, the details need to be all on the same MongoDB database. If it's not, it will not sync. So remember, collect all the plugins to their own database, the same database, if you want it to work correctly. So inside the UXC, you get your configure file, which we're going to talk about. First, inside of this uh, UXC games configure file, you got your prefix, you got the join message. You got your spawn location and you got your leaderboards format. For the server type, uh, use UXC Meetup. So here's uh, what we're talking about. When you click this, where you click, it says UXC servers. You can click this and it says ultra hardcore. And you see where it says UXC one. Well, that's actually here, right here. So what you have to do is you have to set it to UXC. You can just set the display name, the data name, which is what is this up here where it says UXC, your Bungie name, what is it set in your Bungie cord server? and your address for it, so your IP and port. If this is not set up correctly, like I have here, it's not gonna find the data of the server. So it's gonna say that server's currently offline because I haven't set it up. This is just a default plugin. Same with Meetup. You can see Meetup, Meetup here, you have three examples. So you have Meetup 1, Meetup 2, Meetup 3. So you can add as many as you want here and you can fill up an entire inventory and you, if your servers were online and you set up this correctly with the same Bungie name, some same address and same port and you've set it up inside your MongoDB like that with your data.yml and your, and your um, Fate UXC and Fate Meetup plugins, it will work. Now this is an add-on. This is not, it's like an add-on plugin. So it's cheaper than the rest of them. It's not a full game mode. It just hooks into them. And then you get your quick join item, which is like UXC servers, what items are here, your meetup servers, your quick join. What do you want the quick join to do? Right now the command is doing nothing, but um, it says you cannot find any available UXC meetup servers for you. It seems like a UX, all UXC meetup servers are not joinable at the moment. So it would attempt to join a UXC meetup uh, server. Now here comes what the plugin's actually meant for, is like leaderboards and stuff. So let me open this up more so you can see what the leaderboards look like. So when you right click your diamonds, you can see the leaderboards have updated. UXC top wins and top kills. This is connected to my test uh, Fate UXC game on my computer. So you can see it's taken the data from the database and put it in here. UXC top kills. I didn't kill anybody. We just won. And top points are also there. Then you got your top kills, UXC meetup and UXC. And I haven't connected UXC meetup to mine at all. So that's why there is an error here where it says it's not going to load correctly. So that's why it's not loading. Then let's take a look at everything else. You got leaderboards, so you can right click the diamond, and you got your menus. So these are like the design of uh, menus where if you if they'll only appear if they're online, or you can say they only appear if they're offline or something, etc. etc. In here, we also got our language file where you can change all the language of the plugin. You got your scoreboard file where you can change what the scoreboard is. So you can disable this if you put this on like a um, you can disable the scoreboard if you put this on a server with Fade Hub or anything. So it's disabled, but you still get these items and you configure Fate Hub like that. So that's cool. And you got your tab menu, which is up here. And you can disable this, of course, at the top, or you can just delete it and disable it. It's, it's that easy. So quite easy. So it's just a simple thing. There's actually stuff that goes here, but my Forge is messing it up. So I run mods that modify my tab list all the time. So that's why it's messed up. But normally it would not be messed up. Thank you so much for watching today's uh, little bit of a tutorial video. If you want to see how you set this up with Fate Meetup and stuff, or how you set them all together, I can do that as well. But um, this is just a quick look into what it actually does, what you can do with it, and um, it's quite simple. So this is the resource page. I'll leave it down in the description, the top link in the description, and you can go check out how you get this and how you connect it. Um, I will go over a future tutorial on how you set up all four Meetup, UXC, Hub, and UXC games together 
so they all work in sync with each other and that's pretty cool so thank you so much for watching today's video um if you have any questions again join our discord server i'll be happy to help you out we can accept payments five ways so if you want to buy this pokemon other than paypal let us know and we can work that out with you thank you so much for watching today's video my name is noodles and i will see you in the next tutorial video tomorrow goodbye